As Arthur C. Clarke once said, how inappropriate to call this planet Earth when it is quite clearly ocean. Indeed, more than 70% of the Earth's surface is covered by water and today relatively little is known about it. To be precise, as little as 5% of the ocean has thus far been explored and charted by humans, with just 24.9% of the sea floor having been mapped with modern high resolution technology. For mapping purposes, multi beam sonar systems are usually mounted to ships. Detail is, however, limited, and thus important geographical features like sea mounts and objects such as shipwrecks remain unseen. By contrast, 100% of the surface of the Moon has been filmed in HD. Furthermore, as many as 400 new marine species, of which 90 major species, are still being discovered every year, so quite obviously we need to make further progress in exploring, mapping and monitoring our oceans. According to the UN Climate Change Organization, our oceans absorb most of the heat and energy released from greenhouse gases. In fact, they are estimated to have absorbed roughly 90% of the heat generated so far by such emissions, with the subsequent increase in sea temperature leading to ice caps melting, sea levels rising, marine heat waves and ocean acidification, with consequent impact on marine biodiversity. Rising temperatures increase the risk of an irreversible loss of marine and coastal ecosystems such as damage to coral reefs and mangroves that support ocean life, as well as the migration of species to higher latitudes and altitudes where the water is cooler. The Mediterranean region in particular is warming 20% faster than the global average. Our coastal zones face risks such as flooding and erosion, not to mention the salinization of river deltas and aquifers that sustain food security and livelihoods. The plastics in our oceans are yet another serious environmental issue affecting marine life and ecosystems. So these are just some of the many reasons why data collection is necessary and indeed urgent. It is a costly and complicated operation, however, with the right know-how and sufficient funding, huge advancements are already being made in this field. Dr. Michele Cocco is the CEO and founder of EdgeLab, a company based in La Spezia, a busy port in the north of Italy. The company is run by a small team of sea technology lovers whose main concern is the protection of biodiversity and who have always been fascinated by the mystery surrounding the deepest oceans, the last unknown frontier on our planet. EdgeLab specialise in underwater robotics and marine technologies, engineering AUVs, that is autonomous underwater vehicles, which are equipped with sonars for the detection of objects on the ocean floor, the mapping of seabeds and the acquisition of oceanography data, such as temperature, salinity, pollution levels, oxygen levels, chemical analysis of the water, etc., or EOVs as they are known in the business, essential ocean variables. This data collection is useful for researchers who are studying the marine environment, climate models and climate change. Michele and his team have for years now been collaborating on an EU funded project called Nautilus. This is one of two projects included in the EU's efforts to support the European strategy for plastics in a circular economy. The Nautilus project aims to unlock the critical knowledge contained in the ocean over the coming decades and to realise the mutual benefits of marine observation for all elements of a sustainable ocean. 
The most recent phase of the project aims at safeguarding and protecting Europe's coastal and underwater cultural heritage from the effects of climate change and natural hazards. Edge Lab have also contributed to a local project called Whale Safe, whose goal is to prevent collisions between ships and sperm whales around the port of Savona, which is a very busy Italian port with a constant stream of incoming and outgoing vessels. They have installed buoys which can detect the position of the whales, alert the port authorities who in turn alert the captains of nearby vessels. To quote Michele, technology can and indeed does provide information useful to the blue economy. However, a balance needs to be struck between focusing on protecting the economy and protecting the environment. And the latter is where Michele and his team hope to make their contribution. <laughs>